Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And first of all, I just want to say sorry for the lack of videos on the channel right now. I've just got a lot going on right now and I don't have time to edit many videos. But I will be trying to get as many up as I can. But right now it's probably going to be like on a weekly basis. So. With that being said, we'll get into today's What If, which is a part 3 to What If Krillin Had Never Married 18. So, in the last video, Marin and Trunks had shown up, and the Z Fighters had taken on the androids. So, Marin had escaped with Gohan, and the Z Fighters the remaining ones managed to kill Android 17 with Chrome being so much stronger and more tactical. But there was a casualty. 18 managed to kill. She managed to kill Tien. So after her and 16 beat down the other Z fighters, they went up to the hyperbolic time chamber. So there Kron and Merrin became so much stronger. Gohan and Piccolo trained. Gohan achieved Super Saiyan. Piccolo achieved and well he was just a bit shy of Gohan's power. So Gohan achieved Super Saiyan a lot quicker and became a lot stronger. Then Trunks and Vegeta became as strong as what they originally did. So Yamcha also went in with Piccolo and he became as strong as Super Saiyan and Namek. Goku had woken up and he trained with Gohan in the time chamber. And Goku, he got as strong as what he did in the original timeline, maybe just a bit stronger. And Gohan became significantly stronger but still not achieving Super Saiyan 2 transformation. His power was nearly on par with it, but I'd say about as strong as, about as strong as he was when he used the Super Kamehameha wave against Cell, so just over half strength of Super Saiyan 2. And the battle with Cell, First form Cell with Piccolo just after he'd fused with Kami. Cell managed to escape despite being badly damaged by all the Z fighters, injuring Gohan really badly and the key bit draining Krohn's energy. So someone that was as strong as a Super Saiyan on Namek Cell had drained that amount of energy out of him. So now that Cell had escaped, he did manage to hunt down 18 and 16. He absorbed 18 because he was a hell of a lot stronger than what his original first form was because of absorbing Krohn's power. And then he absorbed 16. So he achieved a new form, one that we have not seen before, which is stronger than his actual perfect form. So guys, this is where we pick up the video and one thing that I'm going to say is that I finished writing the first draft of the manga of this and that means there's going to be a few changes to some of the characters. So, in particular, Merrin and Trunks, their characters may change. Right? So, finally, let's begin. So, Goku and Gohan, they have now exited the time chamber, and everyone straight away just senses Cell. Power has just skyrocketed. Vegeta go, wants to go and challenge him, 
for drunks. He's seen how this goes. A little clue to what happens in manga. Gohan goes and challenges the androids out of pure rage. And this is what Vegeta is ready to do. Trunks and Merrin know how this ends. And he straight away stops him. So, Vegeta is not happy about this and begins to fight Trunks. So the two are full on fighting. An intense battle on top of a lookout. This is when Gohan and Goku have to restrain the two. Vegeta is trying to fight Goku and Trunks is just calm. It eventually ends in Goku having to knock out Vegeta. So now that the distraction of Vegeta is out of the way, the Z fighters have to sit down and talk about what the next step is. I mean most of them have already been in the time chamber a couple of times. Have a not nearly as strong as cell. So all the Z fighters now have to train on the outside. Goku and Piccolo sit down and talk and they both know that Gohan is the key. Merrin also walks over to the two and tells them in her timeline Gohan was on the verge of achieving this new form. She said it was about his emotions. The key to the next transformation is an actual, the emotions of a Saiyan. This is when Goku and Piccolo, they both take Gohan to train. And they try and well, Goku takes both of them to King Kai's planet, so out of the way, so they can train un unabated. Oh, Goku and Piccolo are trying to get Gohan to think about everything in his life, everything to try and push him to the next level. Nothing seems to be working. And... This is when Merrin shows up. That's right, Merrin knows the instant transmission. This again is something that could be explained in the manga. Yeah. Uh, she shows up feeling that all their power levels aren't really changing, nothing's really happening. She says to Gohan, in my timeline, Trunks nearly died. You made mistakes, you were too weak. And Trunks was about to lose his life before I had to intervene and save you both. Now, this is a lie that Merrin's telling Gohan. Telling him that because of his weakness, he couldn't save Trunks. And that everyone else had to pick up the pieces of Gohan's mistakes. It caused Gohan to think about all the times where his friends have had to save him. Thinking no one can protect him anymore. He needs to do something. And this is when something just clicks in Gohan. He doesn't get angry. Or anything like that. It's literally like something does click inside of him. And he transforms into a Super Saiyan 2. So this is when. As they're congratulating him saying. Gohan how, look how strong you've become. And you seem in perfect control. King Kai says to them. Sells up to something. He's just destroyed another city and he has gone on television saying stay tuned for I am holding a tournament. He's given the same coordinates as he did before. 
and the tournament will be in in two days. Goku and Piccolo are very scared. They don't know if Gohan can actually defeat Cell. Neither does King Kai. At this point, because Cell is so much stronger, he's kind of like the two are similar power levels. So Goku says to Gohan and Piccolo and Marin, there's nothing more we can do. Two days gives us no time. We have to go back. Gohan, conceal your power. Just hold it at Super Saiyan for now. And just maintain that strength. So the others were training normally, so they haven't really gotten much stronger. And the tournament begins. Mr. Satan shows up. And this cell is more calm and composed. He's got more of 16 in him this time. So when Mr. Satan comes up, Cell just says, no. He literally shows him up. He says, you're not a fighter, you're a clown. He tells the world how much of a fraud Mr. Satan is and tells them how weak he actually is. And Mr. Certain, he doesn't know what to say. The announcer's telling him to show his power, show himself that he doesn't know what he's talking about. But all of his confidence is gone. This is when Goku steps up to fight Cell. And this fight, it's nothing for Cell. He beats Goku down extremely easily. And as he's about to kill Goku, Goku surrenders and says, Well, Cell, you've seen my all. Now it's time for your real fight. So this is when Cell laughs and Gohan steps up and before he actually begins to fight he powers up to Super Saiyan 2 and says Cell you better be ready. So Gohan already remembers what Merrin said, Merrin and Trunks said when Vegeta tried to fly off to beat Cell saying how Gohan in the future got this blind rage and went on to take the androids but he failed miserably and the rage cost him severely he knows that he can't take any risks and he needs to play it smart so Gohan Goes into fight, full power, head on. Cell, he hasn't powered up to full yet, and Gohan is not giving him that chance. Like in the normal story, Gohan just toyed with Cell, but this time he knows that he has to finish him because no one else has the power to. So, now. Cell is just being completely beaten from one end of the ring to the other. He's destroyed the ring, mind you, but Gohan is still just not giving Cell a chance for anything. This is when Cell, he uses a little sneaky technique. He's laid out little key blasts across the ground without Gohan knowing every time he gets knocked to the ground he puts his hand down and places a little key blast ready for Gohan. No one has even picked up on it. I believe Goku did this in Super I might be wrong about that but I swear I remember him doing it and as Gohan was about to Hit Cell with a vital blow. 
that's when he flicks his fingers and all the key blasts come and hit Gohan as one. Cell uses this opportunity to power up. But what he doesn't know is that Gohan saw it coming. And Goku had taught him the instant transmission in those last two days. So as Cell's powering up, Gohan's behind him, holds his hands behind his back and just shouts, Masenko! And fires a big blast through Cell's chest, well, his back. As Cell is falling to the ground, Gohan fires a Kamehameha wave. So this doesn't incinerate Cell. Because Gohan was holding back a bit of power so the impact didn't blast the ground and cause damage to the earth. So Cell, most of his body has been destroyed and this is what forces him to regenerate. This time he powers up even more and strikes Gohan first. Battle is more intent, intense, sorry. And as Gohan goes to fight Cell, he's done it again. He's put more key blasts in the ground, and this time he fires them at all the Z fighters. Gohan goes to stop each blast, the blasts, and Cell hits him from behind. Gohan's down on the ground and Cell fires at Kamehameha at him. Gohan, he got very injured by that shot, that cheap little shot, and he's he can't get up in time. So Goku uses his instant transmission, but again, he's not fast enough to power up Kamehameha to fight it back. So the blast wipes Goku out and he is dead so that's where I'm going to leave it guys so let me know what you think about this